of vision and brilliance. When, when, we saw, when, when you all saw the, the title of this forum, um, you were all thought of as, as visionaries in your own way, as, as brilliant in your own way. That must be pretty hard to, I don't know, put, in, put into words if people ask you questions about that. But what does that mean? What does it mean to, to be brilliant, to be visionary? <laughs> I'm just doing what I love, and if people call it brilliant or visionary, that's fine. But I think, uh, oh, thank the one person agrees. Thank you. But uh, I think, no, there's a bigger point here. Uh, it's a bigger point. I think if everyone had that luxury, unfortunately, hmm. we don't have the luxury to pursue a life of exactly what they love. We would all be ranked as visionary and brilliant. I mean, if, if I, I'm not trying to be quaint, I'm just saying if you got to spend every day of your life doing what you love, you can't help but be like the best in the world at that. And you get to smile every day for doing so. And people, and you'll be working at it almost to the exclusion of personal hygiene, and your friends are <laughs> knocking on your door saying, don't you need a vacation? And you don't even know what the word vacation means because what you're doing is what you want to do, and a vacation from that is anything but a vacation. That's the state of mind of someone who is doing what others might call visionary and brilliant. Did, did you want to jump in, Neil? No, I, I, I just, I, exactly. Um, the, <laughs> you have better I, I, words than that. You're right here. <laughs> I'll just say, I just, I just bare my soul, I, I, and you say exactly. And Neil, I mean, I, just. <laughs> I, I promise that when I come to write up my account, of what we said up here, I will have said much better words. Good, thank you. <laughs> that is the joy of being a writer. Um, good. No, I, I think that we get to look good because we get to do what we want. Mm. And, um, you know, people go, well, you were such a visionary because you wrote graphic novels before anyone was writing those graphic novels. And how? And I go, well, that was what I wanted to write. It wasn't, um, you know, it, the, the, I could say, well, rationally, it seemed like there was a whole lot of work that hadn't been done in graphic novels. Um, I found novels intimidating. There were 3,000 years' worth of novels that really good people have been writing, and I'd have to go up on the shelves, but there's only about 100 years' worth of comics, and there were some good ones, but, but there were things nobody had done, and I could metaphorically grab a machete and had, you know, head off into the metaphorical jungle and hack my own path. And that seemed a really cool way to do it. That would be a metaphorical path. Absolutely. <laughs> Not a literal The metaphorical path. machete and a metaphorical... And, you know, I, and fortunately at no point did I metaphorically kill anybody. 